He tell him, guys, I got a click. I want to share it with you right now about seeking. So before going into this, uh, into this, welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my guru, his divine holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashiva. So I was, I was just see I, in most of my videos, I you know I talk about seeking. I personally, um, I personally look into a lot of like what is seeking, how to intensify the seeking, what is true seeking. So I'm constantly contemplating on that in order to. Um, to manifest more of that in my life because that is what I want to manifest in my life for various reasons. So then I thought, what is seeking? If I have to explain to somebody what is seeking, it's so difficult to explain, like you don't know what it is. But suddenly I got this visualization and I want to share the visualization. I think it makes, uh, it's very, it's easier to understand. So I just said, seeking is romance with life, romance with Paramashiva. And it leads to uh, intimacy with Paramashiva. What does that mean? So this is the click I got. See, seeking is something that we do, that we constantly cherish. That is, it's a will persistent, right? We constantly persist in our decision of cherishing more and more of that. If you take uh, somebody who tries to create, if you take, for example, a man, a young man who tries to create a relationship with a young woman, um, it won't be just like, oh, you meet somebody in the street and say, oh, you want to get married? Let's have kids. It doesn't happen like that. <laughs> Why would the woman say yes? She has no, there's, no, there's nothing built then such a big decision to, um, to make. And there's no foundation for that decision to be made. So naturally, no, nobody does that. Unless they just want to troll you or make a funny video and, and go on YouTube and hit millions of views. Uh, but uh, that's not how it works. So in the same way, seeking is like, it's a process, right? How the man will slowly, you know, engage with the female body, with the woman, and you create that space and cherish romance and build more and more romance and create that environment, that Vatavarana, where, you know, they feel like they can open up to each other more and they trust each other more. And it's, a, it's a space you build, right? Seeking is that also. Paramashiva or Maya or Devi or I don't know, let's say Paramashiva, he, some of these spiritual truths that Swamiji is sharing, you don't get them at the beginning. These truths or, the, or some powers, they won't reveal themselves to you right away. You have to create the right space within you. So that is seeking. Seeking is the constant decision to create a more more of that space, that romance with Paramashiva, so that Paramashiva can reveal himself to you more and more. Um, and it's not a burden, it's not a work. See, when you fall in love, when you have, you build, when the man is building this romance with the woman, he doesn't feel like it's work too much because he's driven by, you know, he has this emotional fulfillment that he gets as he's doing it. So I feel that's the same thing goes with, um, with seeking. You have this kind of romance which you're building, this love which is growing and which is kind of fulfilling you as it happened and it does not make you feel like it's a heavy load or it's a work. If you start to feel that building the space for you to have a good relationship with a woman, for instance, I'm just taking a typical example here. Um, if you start to feel that it's a burden, then you no longer have, you no, you're no longer interested in cherishing romance with that person. So then you should... I don't know, it depends what you want. Of course, some people, you know, they will go to some people and right away they will have some very superficial level of intimacy and then they will split apart. And But that's that's more of a service exchange. It's more of a business kind of thing. You know, I want that, you want that. Okay, let's make it happen. And it's not, it's not like a, you want, it, you're not taking responsibility to create something with that being. It is just, you know, an exchange, a desire. Desire wants to fulfill desire and desire is the same in both ways and somehow it happens. But that's not, that's, that's, that's not, there's no intimacy there. Um, there's no intimacy there. So seeking is that. Seeking, I feel, is like, it's the, you know, you build this romance. You build this space constantly, you know, you, you constantly contemplate on the truth. It's like in, this, in the example of the man and the woman, the seeking is like the man is the is the seeker and the woman is the spiritual truth or the powerful cognition. 
if you want to understand and have more and more of that powerful cognition to be revealed to you, well, you have to flirt, you have to romance with this cognition, you have to think about it, you have to implement it in your life in the way that you understand it. It's like, you know, you're discovering, right? Sometimes the man will do something to the woman, it won't work, and he won't get the result he wants. Sometimes he does something and he will get the result he wants, whether it is, you know, creating, uh, charming the woman, or whatever it is. So, like that, the seeker has to is seeking towards the spiritual truth. Like I said, the spiritual truth is the woman and the seeker is the man. And he is creating the space and trying, you know, playing with that powerful cognition until that powerful cognition reveals more of its essence to uh, the seeker. And the more that happens, the more the seeker grasps the powerful cognition. And the, at some point you just grasp it completely and then you become the embodiment of that um, spiritual cognition and I feel sometimes when people say you're brainwashed right uh, it's not being brainwashed it is flirting with a cognition because you want that cognition to become yours you will not say that the woman who is seducing the man you will not say the man is brainwashed actually in truth he is but but in reality, when we so in the in the common understanding, you will never consider a man who is flirting, who is seduced by a woman, to be brainwashed. So in the same way, the seeker is not brainwashed when he's trying, when he's seeking and trying and contemplating and trying to grasp what the powerful cognition is. He is living this cognition. Maybe it is not his full experience yet, but he wants to make that his experience. So he's working with it until it becomes his experience. So that's why understanding the space is very important. Um, and we have to understand where people are coming from, what is the context. To have that right understanding, which leads to having compassion, love and maturity in the way we relate to ourself and to life. So yes, that's a click I wanted to share. So seeking is great, guys. Seeking is ultimate. It leads to the ultimate. It's all about romancing with Paramashiva until you realize that you are Paramashiva. So that's what I wanted to share in this video with you today. Thanking you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. I, uh, I upload videos, regular, uh, many videos on a daily basis. And the description below has a lot of nice videos which uh, can enrich you. Uh, I think so. It enriched me, so might enrich you. <laughs> so like and leave a comment below if you have any questions regarding seeking or perhaps your click, you know, if you enjoy seeking and like what is your understanding of seeking, what is your cognition of seeking, leave the comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Nityananda.